Hey guys, this is the Instant Camera Guy. Um, I just wanted to do a short video on what film goes in what camera. I get a lot of people ask about the cameras that I sell and they say, oh, well, can you still get film for this? Now, the simple answer to that is, why would I sell a camera that you can't buy a film for? Uh, there'd be nothing but a paperweight. So, the answer is yes, any camera that I sell has film readily available. Um, if it wasn't intended to take that kind of film, the, the cameras I sell have been modified to take it. So, yes, everything that I sell, no matter what kind of Polaroid it is, everything that I sell has film available for it. So, basically, your Polaroid cameras are broken up into four different categories. You've got your SX-70s, your 600s, Spectras, and Type 100 cameras. Now, these cameras have corresponding films, so you've got SX-70 film, 600 film, Spectra film, and Type 100 film. Now, not all of each kind of camera are going to look identical to these. These are just some models that I've selected. Of course, Polaroid made stacks of different SX-70s, stacks of 600s, heaps of different Spectras, and a plethora of different Type 100 camera cameras. Um, but each type of camera takes its own type of film. And it doesn't matter what sort of model you have, as long as it's in that same category, it will take the same type of film. So, basically, 600 SX-70 and Spectra film are all what they call integral films. So that is that when the camera ejects a photo, it's all contained in one, uh, one nice, basically, one nice photograph, one shot, if you will. There's, there's nothing you need to do to the image uh, apart from let it develop. Um, and then you can just hold it in your hand and you have a, 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 an instant photo. Um, so, there's a few differences though between SX-70, 600 and Spectra film. Even though it's basically all based on the same principle of the film ejecting and developing in front of your eyes. Now, SX-70 film and 600 film, as you may notice, is exactly the same size. They are literally exactly the same, they are identical sizes. Um, so 600 and SX-70 film gives you the square image with the, the classic sort of white border that everyone comes to know and love. Um, these are really popular for weddings because people write at the bottom, use them as guest books uh, for, for parties and stuff like that. And basically the only difference between SX-70 and 600 film is the speed of the film. So SX-70 film is 100 ISO, 600 film is 600 ISO. Now, ISO is basically, in layman's terms, how quickly the film reacts to light. So, a 600 ISO film for a 600 camera is going to react to light a lot faster than, say, the 100 ISO film in the SX-70 camera. Uh, and basically, the cameras need to be built around that fact that the SX-70s have a slower film, 600s have faster film. As far as image quality goes, it's absolutely identical. It's just a different speed. Now, you can actually use 600 film in an SX-70, but you do need an ND filter. And basically, ND just stands for neutral density, and it's basically just a dark filter, kind of like sunglasses for your camera, that will help reduce the light coming into the faster film. So, if you want to use the faster film in an SX-70, because they're the same size, you can, but you do just need that filter. So, because it's the same size, you can actually swap them um, and use the 600 in an SX-70. you just got to reduce some of the light coming into the camera. But apart from that, those films are very similar. Now, 600 film is being made by the Impossible Project, and it is called PX680 for the color film, and PX600 for the black and white film. The SX-70 film is also made by the Impossible Project, and that is called PX70 for colour, and PX100 for the black and white. Now, Polaroid Spectras are a slightly uh, different beast. They have the, the same chemistry in the film as 600 film, so the film for a Spectra is about 600 ISO. However, the image size is slightly different. So, I'll just show you side by side. So, whereas with a 600 shot image, you get a square photograph, on a Spectra, you actually get a rectangular photograph that's slightly bigger than the 600. So, you get a slightly 
slightly larger photo, and basically the only difference is in the format. So some people really love uh, the square format, other people really love the rectangular format. Rectangular format is often a lot easier for um, people to compose with, because as human beings we naturally see in a rectangular field of vision anyway. Um, it can take a bit of use to actually composing an image with a square frame because it's just not something that we're, we're really used to. But, I mean, in the end, it's really up to personal preference. Some people prefer spectra cameras because they give the rectangular image. Some people prefer 600s because of the square image. Um, it's basically the same stuff, just a, a slightly different format. Um, so yeah, all of these integral films, whether it be SX-70, Spectra, 600s, they're all the kind that will shoot out of the front of the camera and just develop in your hands. Now, the last film available for the old Polaroid cameras is the Type 100 film. Now, this, this film uh, is used for cameras such as this Type 100 automatic land camera, with the, the old folding bellows design. Um, a lot of Polaroid color packs also took this kind of film. It's also the same film that they use in passport cameras. And there were also several um, Polaroid backs that you could buy for like professional medium format cameras, such as like Mamiya's, uh, the Polaroid 600 SE, uh, Mamiya Universal, Graflex, XL, uh, etc, etc, which allowed you to sort of take a test shot on medium format film. Now, this film is totally different, so it's, it's colloquially known as Type 100 film, also known as Peel Apart film, um, also known as the Fuji FP series of film, um, it, it's just a few different names for basically the same stuff. Now this film is not film that will shoot out of the camera for you and just develop in your hand. So what you will actually do is um, you will pull the film from the side of the camera and basically what that does is sandwich two layers together. One's a negative, the other one's the receiving or, or positive layer and basically develop a goose spreads and the image transfers from the negative onto the positive. And um, you just wait until it's developed and then you just peel apart the two layers. So if it's black and white film, if it's the FP3000B, you're waiting about 15 seconds. For color film, uh, which is the FP100C, you're waiting about uh, sort of one and a half to two minutes. Um, so this film looks entirely different. It still has a white border, but it's just missing the thick strip. Um, so these are the largest image size available in current Polaroid cameras. These, are, these, these will give you the biggest images possible. Um, the other thing is, the film is made by Fuji, who are film giants. They are an absolutely massive company. They really know what they're doing. You can get black and white and color film. The quality is absolutely amazing. It's absolutely super crisp. I'm just going see if you can see that there. Um, it will absolutely outshadow anything possible on a 600 SX-70 or, or Spectra film. Um, it's also a heck of a lot cheaper. Um, and part of the reason for this is because Fuji is a bigger company, they have a bigger factory, they can produce the film for cheaper. Um, and the other thing is that you don't need a battery built into the pack of film like you do with the integral cameras, because these integral cameras, the battery that actually runs them is built into the packs of film, which is sort of wasteful. Uh, an apparently impossible project who is making this Spectra 600 SX-70 film are working on a way around that where the, the battery part will actually be able to purchase separately. Um, but until then it will always be slightly more expensive because they've got to put a fresh battery in, in every single pack of film. So the cost of this sort of film um, for the larger, higher quality images is literally a third of what you're paying um, half, half price to a third of the price of what you're paying for the integral film. So I always recommend to people um, to seriously consider peel apart cameras just because of the cheaper film, better image quality, etc. Et um, the colours are also incredibly true to life, uh, which a lot of people really enjoy. Um, it's, it's pretty much as the closest thing that you can get to uh, an instant sort of digital photo, I guess, like that's that's the kind of quality that you're getting with these kind of prints. Um, and again, there's many different models that take the Type 100 film, just as there are different models that take SX-70, 600 and Spectra. And of course, the better your camera is, uh, the sharper your images are going to look. Um, but as a general rule of thumb, the Type 100 film will always give you better results. So I hope that sort of clears a lot of questions. Um, 
Thanks for watching, guys.